Hello! I'm Neil, and I'm going to show you a really cool experiment about water that's going to get you even more excited than you already are. I know you're saying, that's impossible, I'm so excited about water, if I get any more excited, I'm going to have an aneurysm and die right here. But, well, that might be true, but hopefully it won't be, and if it is, I'm not responsible, okay? Okay. Alright, so, 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 for this experiment, you only need a couple common household items. It's really easy to perform, and and you should show it to your friends because you freak them out, and your family, especially children, especially children. Okay, so all you need, all you need is a uh, non-conductive material like this water bottle. Okay, B, uh, some water, um, a a small thin stream, as thin as you can get it. Well, it's still a coherent stream. So uh, I've got my sink running here. You should be able to see, let me use my hand for backdrop, you should be able to see that stream of water there. See, it's quite thin, um, I can touch it with my fingers, you know, if I feel like it, you can too. Doesn't have anything to do with the experiment, but there it is. Okay, so, then you have your stream of water, you have your non-conductive material, um, and you have yourself. Okay, let me switch hands here, alright. Uh, and, 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 what you're going to do is you're going to build up a static charge with your non-conductive material, okay? So, how you're going to do this is you're just going to rub it vigorously on, gee, I don't know, um, something fuzzy like maybe your head. Okay, so here we go, rubbing vigorously. Alright, we're rubbing vigorously. I want to make sure you have a good grip, good grip on the bottle, rub vigorously. Give yourself a nice new hairdo, and the result should be that you strip electrons from your hair, and then those electrons coalesce on the surface of the bottle. This should give the surface of the bottle a negative charge, and your hair a positive charge. If we did it correctly, when I remove the bottle and then slowly bring it to my hair, we should see uh, the two start to attract one another. Uh, so you should see my hair move. Let's see if that's the case. See my hair moving? Just a little bit. Just a little, little finer hair is moving. Okay. So, you've got your static charge bottle. Let's make sure it's really staticky. Because if it's not, the experiment won't work. Ah! Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so then, take, take that. Take that bottle, bring it down to the stream. Okay? Bring it within about an inch of the stream. Holy moly, do you see that? The water is actually moving. Isn't that amazing? And what's happening here is the negative electrical charge on the water bottle is attracting the positive regions, those are the hydrogens, of, of, the, of the water molecules. And this wouldn't be the case if water wasn't polar. Pretty cool, huh? So remember, this is very easy to do. You should show it to your friends, show it to your family, show it to your dog. I don't care. Get a water bottle, some other non-conducting material, rub it on your head, put it close to a stream of water. It will bend. You'll amaze everybody, and they'll wonder how you knew so much about science. Dang. Isn't that cool?